Emotional mastery is more important than positive thinking. And you just proved it. What happened as soon as you heard me make that statement? Did you go, he's wrong? Like, did you get angry and defensive? Did you get inquisitive? Like, wow, I never thought about that. Or did you go, yeah, he's right. Finally, somebody's talking about the real stuff. You see, you just proved it to yourself. Because of how our brain works, we process everything emotionally before we ever get to thought. And that just showed it to you. As soon as the words came out of my mouth, they hit a part of your brain called the thalamus. It bounces off a couple of other pieces in our brain and it taps into our emotional memories. Now, memories are not thoughts. They're actually stored physically in our body. That's why you had a feeling, whether it was positive, negative, or neutral, all based on previous life experiences. And so, your whole life is predicated on your emotional mastery. If you want connection, if you want intimacy, great sex, great communication, a partner that meets all your needs and wants, it's all based on your emotions, not your thoughts. If you want the career of your dreams, you'll be drawn to careers based on how you feel when you pursue that career. If you're struggling with motivation, self-sabotage, fear, indecision, lack of commitment, all of that, do you hear that? Those are all emotions that are stop, that are creating thoughts, that are creating behaviors that stop you from pursuing what you want. See, that's the, the biggest struggle in this industry is everyone's telling you to think positive and modern neuroscience shows, no, 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 it's a waste of time. It's even the way, our, <clears throat> our, the way our brain was formed. See, our brain formed in three sections. First was intuition, then emotion, then intellect, thought. Yet everyone's telling you to work on the third one. Well, do you see, if, if thought was the most important, why didn't it come first? Why wouldn't we need that first before everything else? Do you see that? We needed intuition and emotion. And so thought, cognition, is meant to be a support system for these two. Intuition is our single greatest gift. This is where our greatness lies. This is where all of our decisions should be made from. But what are we doing? We're all pursuing thought. This is what blocks intuition. It gets in the way. It overrides it. We overthink. We overprocess. We second guess. We don't know why. Because what happens? Emotion comes up. We don't trust the emotion because we've never been taught emotions. We have no emotional mastery. And so we're used, we have all these confusing emotions. We don't have the skill set to understand what's happening to us emotionally. And therefore, our thoughts are confused. And therefore, our choices become confused. We don't follow intuition, which is our guidance system. So if you are using positive thinking, if you're trying to think your way out of a problem, that's what's killing you. That's your mistake. That's what's robbing you of the relationship and the career, the financial success, the safety, the empowerment, the fearlessness, the confidence, the ability to just step into anything you want. It's because you're lacking emotional mastery. That's the secret to everything. And I just proved it to you. I walked it through in several different ways, showed you. And so if you're still defensive about it, if you're still pushing it away and going, no, 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 do you see that's a feeling? There's something inside you, there's a sense, he's telling me I'm wrong. He's telling me this feeling I have is wrong. Well, where did that feeling come from? Because remember what feelings are. They're just a catalog of emotional experiences. And so what that tells me is when you were younger, you were sent the message that you were wrong a lot. And so that hasn't been healed. And so any mention that you might not have the right information is an assault just like it was in childhood. You're reliving that same emotional experience. And without emotional mastery, no thought will overcome it. Because think what happens. When you go to learn a new skill at your career, when your wife or, or, or husband brings up some imperfection, what are you gonna relive? You're gonna relive that emotional experiences of I'm bad or wrong. And so then the words and actions that come out of you are gonna be denial, pushing away, I'm not gonna face it, I'm not gonna deal with it. All you're going to do is fail. That's what's at your feet. If you deny 
learning how to become a, a master in your emotions, you're denying yourself the ability to live in your full potential, or as I call it, our greatness. It's the only way.